fellow Spartans, how are you doing? And welcome back to another episode of the Sassanid Empire campaign on Total War Attila. So I left you with this sort of um, situation at Axum. Um, I said that we're going to be fighting this battle today. Um, I can't fight it yet because I forgot to <laughs> construct any siege equipment. So I've just done that now. So I'll take a turn and then after that... In fact, what are we doing? Can I... What am I doing? Of course we can fight the battle. We've got a bloody Onager. Right there, I forgot about that, so let's cancel that. Flipping ladder, straight away. Oh, we don't need to cancel, we can just fight, there we go, I have cancelled it. We can fight it, of course, let's do it. I thought, why would I leave it at this point in the proceedings if I wasn't going to start the other episode with a, the battle? And obviously now I know, this is why we're fighting it. We've got the Onager, we've got the men hopefully as well. We've got the Royal Guardians of Fire coming in to uh, reinforce. Let's see if we can take Axum. If we do, I think at this point, this is our last remaining settlement, so we should be able to then subjugate them as our faction. Of course, you remember last time we uh, lost control of two uh, factions that we once were well, that were once our client state, the Himyars, which I'm going to try and get back. A couple of people suggested I set a war target on them that should then get them um, under control again hopefully and also um, the faction in the north and for some reason they've just completely gone out of my head what name they were but never, nevertheless not to worry they are now under my control again so it's only the Himyars I've got to get back um, and then we should be alright but yeah the last time I'll ever be calling any of my factions or my allies to aid me in a war against another faction because it does then open up a problem where they could actually break away from me, which we don't want, so I've learnt my lesson there. Anyway, let's get this city under our control and hopefully then we can make these guys our client state as well. So bring back these desert raiders for the moment. Now, let's have a quick look at the situation here. It looks like the really the best way to go in, I would say, would be... Mm, uh, I think would actually be here. Smash the gate, take down these two towers if we can, but as long as we smash the gate, that's the only sort of yeah siege tower that's in our way there. There's too many siege towers over that side, so I think we've got a better chance if we attack the city in this direction. Of course, we've got our reinforcements coming over there from the, from the east, and uh, yeah, yeah, let's crack on. So let's get our spears... Spears into formation. And group one. And as well, a lot of people will be asking, which again is understandable because you guys do love it, where is the Western Roman Empire campaign? I'm going to be doing a live stream for the next episode of that because I'm in a bit of a difficult position with the, uh, with the campaign as it stands at the moment. So I need as much help as I can get from you guys. So yeah, I'm going to be live streaming it very soon. I'll be doing an announcement video of that and then get you guys on board so you can help me out live and hopefully we can get out of that mess which uh, we found ourselves in, basically. Anyway, let's do it. Let's start the battle. Oh, they've got Bastion Onigas. Are they in our range? I don't think they are. Oh, they actually could be. Actually, they could be in the art. Oh my god. <sighs> get over here, get over here, get over here now. Right, these are the reinforcements. Oh god, do not lose any... Any Onigas. Else it will be game over. We lost any men. <gasps> oh! That's... Not good. Hopefully, though, that you can pick it up. Move on, move on, move on. Push, push, push. Oh, God. Thank God for that. Oh. We've got to go there. But then we're out of range, hopefully. Then we're out of range. Okay. Okie dokie. Right. That's them. Let's move these guys in. Now, they're going to come across as well. They're, we're all going to attack from the same direction today. Um, it's required. It is required. Let's group these together in group one. 
Go for the old double line there. Form up, form up. We've got these defectors which hopefully should be able to drive into the city once we've taken the uh, the gates down. Got the cavalry over there. They are our heavy shot cav. They should be handy. Raiders as well can go and team up with the skirmisher cav. Generals can stay back a little bit. Oh, there's a unit of speedmen I forgot about there. Right, okay, Anigas. You, you are in range, good. You are in range. And we lost a sodding Oniga. You wouldn't believe it. Damn you. Come on, no, I need you to be on fire. I need you to be on form with the shot. Not a good start. Actually, no, he is a good start. 24% damage. I thought you actually missed there, but no, you haven't. So keep going. You need to be deadly accurate. Oh, great shots. And took a few out there on the wall there as well. Oh, nice. Knock, knock. Who's there? The sassies are here. <laughs> that was awful. Sorry, that was awful. Knock, knock. Who's there? Doctor. Doctor Who, we just said it, Whee! That's my speciality, ladies and gentlemen. It's awful, I know. <laughs> right, we're, we're, we've got it here. They're realising they're in trouble, the Desert Tribesmen. They're pulling back. Oh, yes! Right, go for the Watchtower. We've still got a little bit of ammunition left. We need to rush, we need to rush into the city as quick as we can. Because they have got their bastions still ready to fire. And they are... Are they firing? No, they're not. Oh, you've both gone over. You wouldn't believe it. Right, the troops are still forming up. Got to give them a bit more time. Oh, the shooting has gone terrible. Thank God they weren't missing the gatehouse, else we would be in trouble. Right, well, they've pretty much finished off all of their ammunition. Right, the troops are ready. Right, let's bring these mercenary Savon cavalry in. Just to try and take out some of these, uh, these units out. Right, bring the Arnigas back. We don't we don't want to lose them as a unit. They can replenish. We, we, they are quite handy. Set the Sovereign Cavalry to go on the right over there to try and get some of these units down. Again, only mercenaries, so I don't really mind if they do die. But the, the Arnigas, I do mind. Right, go for a heavy shot. Loose formation them as well. Come on, let's get some shots off here. Okay. Are we need in position to begin an assault. I, th I think we need to go in a minute. Let's begin forward approach here. So if one's doing any. Di di uh, um, blah, blah, blah. Any damage? No, not at all. They are pretty much useless at the moment. I think they can't get the angle, can they? Bring them back a, a smidge. Let's get the fast forward going here. Defectors, you will then re sort of reform. So not reform. That you will actually reinforce. That's the word I was looking for. Reinforce the line from the rear. Spears will go first, and then we'll get those defectors to smash through after that. Okay, Armenian Spearman, now is your time. Push in against the Chieftain. One of the Chieftains is at the city gates, ladies and gentlemen. This is wonderful to see. We're going to take a little bit of fire here. There's going to be a few casualties, unfortunately. It's the aim of the game, unfortunately, when you get these sieges. It's part of the 
the course really. Uh, sieges do seem to take a few initial casualties of your own men down. Let's rush, 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 rush. Come on, Spearman, get in there. Take those city gates and more importantly, take down those watchtowers. Capture the gates at all costs. Come on, storm the city. Axum will be ours by the nightfall. Right, we're contesting now, hopefully. The capture point will start to drop. Oh, spears. That's fine. You charge me, Calv. You charge me your spears. Also, I charge you with my spears. You can continue to charge my spears. That's what I'm going to say. Oh, no. We've got a bit of a choke point now at the bloody gates. Flipping great. If we put these just there, they've got a little bit of range to them to try and throw some javelin in. This is why, ideally, you want to smash some of the gates. Not, to, not only just the gates, you want to smash parts of the wall down as well so you can get in there to, um, to get another choke point in or another entrance into the city. Oh, we need to take down those Bastionigas though. Yeah, 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 carry on, carry on. What a mosh pit it is there. And that's what concerns me a little bit there, you see. That's what concerns me. I can't get my cavalry in at the moment. Go for them. Go for those elite Numidian, Num sorry, Nubian archers, please, those mercenaries. Oh god, this could be it. This could be a long battle, ladies and gentlemen. How did the Desert Chieftain is not taking many casualties here? Ideally, we need him to storm in these defectors in a minute. Right, get you in because you've used all your ammunition. Try and see if you can push in. That's it, that's it. Get in there, get in there. Where's the chieftain gone? He's there. Oh my god, is he, there's a horse running across the wall then. You've got to go in, you've got to go in. Oh, into the city. Problem is, these have got terrible morale, these Armenian spears. Desert raiders are going down. Yeah, what they've done is they've literally known that I could only take the gates. They've put everything they've got behind those gates there. And they're now defending it with everything they've got, really. Everything they've got. What have we got here? We've got these. Mm, they've got their mercenaries again. I don't mind mercenaries. I don't mind sacrificing them. If it needs, needs must, and if it if it means the victory, then of course, I will throw everything we've got in here. We'll use that scare ability. We'll get that. Try and drop the morale of these units, these wiki units, these tier one units over here. Try and get that going. Oh, here comes another unit. So another shot from the Bastionigas. Took out a couple of men. I think that's it. That was that. That was our last shot. So hopefully now. Okay, just go into here. Drop the scare ability. Yeah, that's dropped them pretty quickly. Good. Could you fire your javelins for me? Yeah, you're firing them. Good lads. We're gonna take a hell of a lot of casualties here. So look at the let's look at the counts here. Oh god, it's, it's oh god, we are taking more casualties than they are. <gasps> this is not good. There's no way else I can get into there. There's no other way, I don't think. Unless. Unless. I'm gonna have to do this. 
It's crazy, I know. They're going to have to hack the gatehouse down. Go this way, go this way. If we don't do it, we could lose this battle. A charge in the rear with these four units of cav could be the turning point there. If you can hold on army in space for as long as you possibly can, just get in there, chieftain. What well, a chieftain, no. I'm talking about desert raiders, get in there. Push in, push in, push in. Okay, guys. Numbers now. I'm getting a little bit nervous now because we're dropping numbers at a very alarming rate here. Let's put it on fast forward. Okay, unit is wavering. Desert Raiders are starting to go down. Light melee cav. Push has got in there. That push has gone in. The Raiders have gone in. The Raiders are lost at arc. They're going in there. Come on, man. Move. Problem is, it's going to be pretty hard to take these gates down. So they're going to get round the back now. Maybe I should have got these ladders and waited another turn, but uh, it's the thing you see with those onigers, they take the their ammunition goes so quickly. I pull over here, pull over here. Numbers are starting to drop. We've got to get into this city quickly. Oh, the gatehouse is starting to be neutralised. Pushing in hard. God, the Armenian spears will drop in him, and they are not the best units of cav. So not best units of spears. They're not too bad. The enemy is upon us. They're at the walls. Right. Okay. No, they're not the best units, but they've got excellent armor, so they can hold for a little bit longer. Hopefully. Come on, move in, move in. This is horrible to watch. It really is horrible. Hope you guys are enjoying it. It's pretty tense stuff. Oh my god, come on. Hack in, hack in. Break them. I'm gonna break the gates, come on. Oh my god, is it that bad? You can't... Oh god, 1% damage. Oh god. This could be all over. I don't think it's going to be all over, but the problem is, I think they have to do it themselves. Let's get another scare trait going. I think you need to go in for a charge now. Forget the fact you've got skirmishers. So forget the fact you are skirmishers. Just go in for a charge. Oh god, those desert raiders have been going down for the last four four days. <laughs> still, not, still not fully wavered. Nine percent damage. You wouldn't believe. At least we're not taking any fire now. To keep hacking away, keep hacking away. Ten percent damage. We brought one of our generals across as well, have we? I forgot about that. You're okay though. Our main chieftain is okay. A little bit further forward. We've committed everything. Everything we've got here. More wavering occurring. Let's fast forward a little bit more. Dare not bring this unit forward, this unit of this giant, this kind of 
this general unit. In fact, there's no range units left, I don't think, now. So if you bring him forward, yeah, because the gate house has fallen. Let's bring him forward. Let's use his steady ability. Let's use his war cry ability. How's the gatehouse doing? We need he got there. 27%. They really have nerfed that that gatehouse uh, situation now, haven't they? Wow. Yeah, I remember we used to be able to take down a gatehouse pretty quickly. Obviously, it's more accurate now, the fact that it has to take a lot longer. But, uh, yeah, it's not helping me at the moment. Oh, we can only steady our own men, can we? Damn it. Right, that's it. Bring these morale units down. Bring the units of the... Sorry, bring the morale of these units down. Oh, my God, I can't speak tonight. Oh, they've got even got the slingers in there. They've got everything they've got in there. If we can get through. If we can get through. Another 55%. Got the FPS there when you hover over those units. Get in there. Defectors, get in there. This is a bit like this Himyar settlement we took about three or four episodes ago. Exactly the same situation. It was like a stalemate for about 20 minutes before we finally got in there. Come on. Need 30% left. Come on, I can't. I can't. Oh, what's that? I can't wait much longer. Oh, we're in! We're in! We're in! We're in! Go! Go, go, go! See, they've actually got two units actually based around the side. What are you doing? Oh my god, you're going out of the city again. What are you playing at? What are you doing? Oh my, the gate hasn't properly opened, has it? That's why. We weren't we weren't allowed to get in there, were we? Oh my god, right, come back, come back. This is turning out to be a disaster. What are they playing at? The path finance is gone. They thought they've captured the gate. We've nearly got this one, though, actually. The flag's coming back up. So hopefully now we've captured the gatehouse. Right, it's under our control now. Back you come. Right, pull them into this part here. Come on. Ugh. Oh, yes. Right. Now we could be... Now we could be getting somewhere. Now we could be getting somewhere. I thought everything was lost. Alright, come on. In we come. In we come, chaps. This is going to be... A very, very costly victory. Could be as bad as a Pyrrhic victory in the end. Right, let's charge the general. Charge the general. Lost so many men. Lost so many men. Right, here we go. Study yourselves. The victory point will soon be ours. You go this way, go this way, go this way. 
because you can go on the back. And go in here. If you can avoid taking too many casualties because these siege towers are just ridiculous. Oh, this is a tricky battle this has been. Good. Back into the fray. Drop this morale, drop every morale we can. That's it. Get this morale to absolute bare bones. And then once we've got them down there, we can then charge them with this unit of shot cav. We're pulling this one back just by the skin of its teeth. Yes! Bang, come on. Drop these numbers. Pull out. Reform the line. And then go again. Boom. Right, rinse and repeat. Pull back again. How are you doing against this chieftain? He's going down, he's going down. The men's resolve is failing. No! Don't worry, we're going back in. We'll break them down bit by bit. Oh god, this has been a bloody battle to take this city today. Men have lost them, their lives, sacrificed themselves. What we're doing here is we're going to reform again, gather momentum, we're going to go for another charge in a second. Come on, come on, come on. This charge should then rip them down a bit more. Hopefully. Oh my god, one unit's lost. Two. Two have gone down. The men are broken and running for their lives. Boom, come on. Smash through, smash through. Yeah, I know. Not this one. It's the one over there. They have got... They're dropping quickly now with the enemy. The enemy numbers are falling. Spears, get back in there. This is why you've got to take two, two points in the walls. Maybe I should have done that. Maybe I should have avoided the gate, but I couldn't guarantee it. But this is where you, you know, you learn from your mistakes. Next time, I'll go for two holes and try and see if I can do that. Maybe bring two onigas instead of one next time. Because if they, they've been able to sit here and just literally take all the ways you've been able to throw at them without any problems, really. Right. Cataphracts go in. Oh, good charge. Look at this desert tries me only tier one. What's this desert chieftain doing now? We've paid a big sacrifice today. Big sacrifice has been paid today. Oh, they're Desert Legionary Defectors as well. That's not going to be good. Get them before they get into the charge. Yeah. That's not bad. We've taken a few down there, actually. The enemy are losing ground. Good. I thought it was all over. This has been one of the scrappiest, ugliest battles 
in my Total War history. <laughs> to be honest with you. Absolutely disgusting. But you'll learn and we will do so next time. We need to make it easier for ourselves next time. Two entry points into the city. Must, must, must be done. Well, we're finally smashing them down now. It's only a matter of time. Only a matter of time. Chieftain starting to, yes, waver. Good. He's gone. He's going. Finally. The few that have survived will see victory today. God, this is actually last the whole entire episode this battle has. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Enemy units have rallied and returned to the battle. Move in, move in, move in, move in. Push in, push in. Who are these guys? Oh my god. Unit of legionary defectors. Oh, you go around there. Try and finish off the... Uh, Chieftain. If we get him down, then that should send shock waves. Oh, the Chieftain's gone. This is a shameful display. They're shaking. Let's just fast forward it now, guys. Let's finish off the job. Oh god, I thought it was gonna be easier than this. I really did, I I didn't want to order resolve it because I wanted to give you guys a battle, but I wanted to win it better than this as well. A lot of blood has been spilt, but it is victory in the end. End the battle there. A pyrrhic victory, yes. Indeed it is. We lost 1,695 men. They only lost 1,800, so they, yeah, about 100 more than we did. Oh, God. That was hard. That was very hard, but we didn't lose a unit. They've remained intact, which is the main thing. And now we can subjugate them. We don't need to do anything else with them. We need to subjugate them. All that, all that blood, all that death, just so they can become our client state. At your command. Ah, uh, we've lost a unit. We've lost a general. Sorry, fearless warrior. We'll give him a go. Enemy killed in battle. Well, at least Axum are now under our control. This is this is good to see. So, oh yes, we've got an army here that is actually rebelled here, have we? We need to set a war target, don't we, as well, on these guys before we can get there. It's a shame you can't set multiple war targets, that's the problem. It's That is a thing that I, I, I don't like about it. any Total War game. They need to start being able to set multiple war targets. Because, okay, a, a few units over here, a few of my client states can deal with this army, but then they can't still deal with that one as well. So we need to get you know a war target set for these client states over here to then attack. But it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. This is a bit of a pain, unfortunately. But... Um, Never mind, never mind. We shall take them down next time. Next time we'll go back for the Himyars, take the settlement of Zafar, and then we should have under our control the 10 puppet states we need for the victory. At least the Axum faction have now kneeled before me. Wow, what an honourable victory. You know, brave men. Had assassinated Empire, very brave men. We can levy some troops actually. We'll levy a unit of uh, a couple of desert bowmen actually. But yeah, they need to make the sail across back to Safar now to take that back from the, uh, the Himyars. That's the main thing now. So we'll pull them over here. Force march them to there. And then. There they go. Off they go. 
Right, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to finish off the part here. I apologise, it was all just one battle, but as you can imagine, it took a lot of time to finally grind them down. It wasn't pretty, it wasn't it wasn't the best, but uh, we shall prevail regardless, and next time we shall learn, and hopefully as far we can uh, perform a little bit better than we did there. But anyway, as always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, do spear that like button, but until next time, this is Warrior Spotter for now saying farewell.